Um, spatial contiguity, um, well, this is the idea that um, if you're going to have, so I just said it's not good to have printed words on the screen, but if you're going to have printed words on the screen or page, so let's say we're laying out a textbook, we can't have narration, we have to have printed text, um, it's better to have the words next to the part of the graphic that, that they are referring to. Instead of having a uh, caption at the bottom or text in a paragraph um, separate from the graphic, it's better to have the text actually in the graphic itself. So in 22 out of 22 experimental tests, we're getting uh, an effect size greater than one, which is a huge effect in education. You can see in all the studies that we've looked at, an integrated presentation is more effective on a transfer test than a separated presentation. I like these studies because students are getting the exact same graphics and the exact same words. It's just where on the page you put the words. Just moving them next to the part of the graphic they're talking about has a huge effect on their understanding as evidenced by transfer performance. Um, temporal contiguity, this is kind of the same thing when we're talking about uh, let's say uh, a narrated uh, animation or a narrated video. You might think it would be better to uh, maybe present the narration first and then the animation or vice versa, giving people two exposures to the same material. You might double, double the amount of exposure people get, but you can see in nine out of nine tests, it's better to present the corresponding words and graphics at the same time simultaneously rather than successively. Um, in fact, even having the soundtrack off by five or 10 seconds from the video or animation destroys people's understanding. It's extremely frustrating.